on this edition of the HDTV Morning Announcements, in appreciation of an admin, academic achievement, and more alliterative ace. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey, I'm Mel. And I'm Liz. Nothing fancy, gotta go fast. Anyway, in lines one and two, we're gonna have pizza sticks and mini corn dogs. Line three is closed. Line four, soup and salad bar featuring broccoli soup and line five, Big Daddy Pizza. With that, go check out Nick. He's got some sports for you. Thanks, Mo. The boys' golf team teed off against Clinton Central yesterday, beating the Bulldogs by a score of 199 to 220. Drew Grismer led the Hot Dogs with a 45, followed by Cameron Caesar with 50, Nolan Varner and Reese Mitchell with a 52, and Ramsey Mitchell with 59. The Hot Dogs will be traveling to Lebanon tonight to face off against the Tigers, and on Thursday they will be taking on North Montgomery. The Hot Dog Varsity softball team defeated Southmont yesterday by a score of 2 to 1. Avery Drew came away with the win pitching seven innings, allowing one run on five hits with 11 strikeouts. The team was down 0-1 to in the bottom of the sixth inning with two outs, when Morgan Dean singled on a fly ball to center field and then scored on a double by Katie Roberts. Kim McKeenma then reached first base on a pop fly with an error by the center fielder to score Roberts and take the lead. From then on, the Dogs were able to close the game out, striking out the final batter of the game. The varsity baseball team also took care of Southmont yesterday by a score of 8-2. Christian Lopez threw seven innings and gave up zero earned runs. Connor Boone, Jack Wilkins, and Jose Valdez Sandoval had two hits each. The team is now 9-5 overall and 5-3 and in the conference. Rounding out the action from yesterday, both the boys and girls track teams finished second behind the defending Sagamore Conference champs, Lebanon. First place finishers include Zeke Van Deventer in the shot put, Hugo Hernandez in the 1600 and 3200, Alanis, Bautista, Wilkins, and Hernandez in the boys 4x800 relay, Nayeli Alanis in the 100 hurdles, and Alicia Ramey in the 300 hurdles. That wraps up the sports action from yesterday. Back to you, Liz. Thanks, Nick. This Friday, May 3rd, will be the last day to check out new library books before the end of the school year. All library books will be due back by Friday, May 10th. However, digital books will be available all summer. See Mrs. Willoughby if you have any questions. Practices for this summer's marching band will be held Monday, May 6th and Wednesday, May 8th from 4 to 5.15. Anyone is welcome to join the band. Again, friendly reminder that the dodgeball fundraiser the boys tennis team is organizing is coming up soon. So if you want to sign up, it is $2 a person to play. Prizes, medals, and more will be awarded to the winners. Get more info at the bookstore. Today is Principal's Day, so to celebrate, we'd like to thank Mr. Edwards for his hard work and dedication towards the school and its occupants, be it student or faculty. Mr. Edwards graduated from Ball State with a Master's in Educational Leadership and Administration and is going to ISU to attain a doctorate in Superintendency and Educational System Administration. In addition, he's pretty good with the repulsor. Congratulations to the math and interdisciplinary divisions of the Academic Bowl team for qualifying for state competition. The following students will be competing in the aforementioned rounds. Kate Fortner, Lucy Fortner, Drew Grismer, Victoria Moss, Julia Perez, Mo Perry, Mary Jean Smith, and Brayden Wessel. Competition is Saturday, May 4th. Ah yes, feels good to have my name on the announcements. Anyway, the FHS will uh, host Maymester beginning today and continues through May 17th. Class sessions will again be from 3 to 6 p.m. There is no transportation for this session, however, make sure you have a ride if you attend. Including today, you only have three days to purchase prom tickets, so head on over with your permission slip to purchase one, two, or even a 12-pack. On Saturday, head to the 4-H building at the fairgrounds for the 67th annual Kiwanis Pancake Breakfast. The breakfast takes place between 6.30 and 10 a.m. Tickets are $6 in advance and 7 at the door. Kids 5 and under get in for free. There will be a sad meeting today during community in room 31. Don't worry, I'm pretty sure it'll be kind of happy in there. Maybe. The FCA will also meet today during community in Collaboration Space 2. They'll be discussing future projects and giving their seniors a good send-off. Well, that's it for today's announcements. As always, make sure to like and subscribe to stay updated on school news and events. And as for the alliteration mentioned earlier, always aim for awesomeness. Always. Anyway, adios amigos.